A mix-up at the Gilmer County Courthouse causes a grand jury to issue re-indictments in several cases. Good evening. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. One of the biggest errors involves a sexual battery case stemming from a Calhoun High School post-prom party. News Channel 9's Micaiah Thurman joins us now live from outside the school with that story. Micaiah. Calvin, Latricia, good evening. Now, the school year is about to start up here at Calhoun High School, but the case against three of the school's newest alumni is far from resolved. Up until now, the focus has been on what may have happened at an after-prom party, but today it's court officials that are in the hot seat after confusing the charges for those suspects. Last month, Andrew Isaac Haynes, Fields Benjamin Chapman, and Avery Johnson were indicted on several charges after a reported post-prom sexual assault. But today, attorneys representing the three men say the state's indictment was incomplete. We filed uh, a general demur against those original indictments. Demur is just a legal term for basically a motion to dismiss. Calhoun attorney Jesse Vaughn represents Johnson in this case and says that after filing a complaint, the court felt it was necessary for the state to completely resubmit a proper indictment. The one thing in particular that we noticed is that the facts pled in the indictments were not sufficient to identify what our client was accused of doing. Because of that vague wording, the district attorney's office was forced to recall a grand jury, clarifying each count for each of the suspects, a move that Vaughn calls a necessary fix. You know, crimes in the state of Georgia are made up of elements, just like a molecule is in chemistry. And if an element's missing, then it's flawed. And you have to have all of those elements in place. And that supposed flaw extends beyond the case of the post-prom assault. Gilmer County officials confirmed several cases had to be re-indicted after a, quote, oversight. Vaughn tells us that we may never know the exact reason for the error. There may have been... You know, the indictments may not have been handled in a certain way. I can just say that it's our job to defend our client as best we can. And when we reviewed it, we found that there were some flaws. We reached out to the district attorney's office to find out why so many of the cases had to be re-indicted, but our calls have not been returned. Reporting live from Calhoun, Micaiah Thurman, News Channel 9. Thanks, Micaiah.